come take a walk with me. I've been reading a photography book recently called Learning to See Creatively, and I'll put a link to it down below this video because I recommend it very highly. So I got inspired by reading this to go take a walk around my neighborhood, and I want to focus on one aspect of composition. And today I'm just going to focus on patterns, and I'm going to try to resist the urge to shoot anything else. And if you want to come along with me, you're invited. Sometimes things like fences can create interesting patterns, but I don't know if I can get an angle on this one that will make it uh, make much of it. I'll come up and uh, just do this just for the fun of it. Nah, I'm not sure that's worth much. We can find something better. Walking around the outside of Petco Park, the baseball stadium. I'm sure we'll see something around here. I already have an idea. Gotta look up and down. I think this, this looks like a pattern. So one of the rules of shooting patterns is to fill the frame. So I'm gonna zoom in. Now here's this cool pedestrian footbridge, which I like a lot, but it's really more about shape than it is about pattern. But I'm gonna see if I can find any patterns within it. Stairs are always guaranteed to make patterns. So again, I'm gonna try to fill the, fill the frame. That's something of a pattern. All right, now we're up on top of the bridge. I'm just gonna look around and see if I can find any patterns up here. probably see why I like to live in San Diego. We're gonna walk over by the harbor, which you can see over there in the distance. It's a walk I like to make almost every day. Walking past the front of the Hilton Hotel, Hilton Bayfront, sometimes the building We'll make a good pattern. So let's see what the Hilton has to offer here. So uh, I'm just gonna zoom in. All right, finally down by the harbor. It's bound to be some things down here. And right away, here's a fence. Sometimes a fence can be interesting. Let's kind of kind of zoom in on it. Now, first, I was thinking about the water, and I'm sure I can get some patterns there. But I also see these these rocks. I think if I kind of zoom in so that the rocks fill the frame, I'll get a shot of those. Of course, the water itself makes very abstract patterns. I'm around behind the convention center. I just noticed something on the back of the convention center I want to go take a look at. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Gotta get close enough to fill the frame, get everything else out. Now we start to get to the boats. This is what they call the super yacht dock for obvious reasons. Now, finally got out into the sun. It's a little chilly this morning. It's still pretty early. Probably should have come out a little bit later. Also, some of the things I've been shooting have been entirely in the shade because the sun's not up very high yet. So I may come back a little later on and catch some of these same things in different light. I've been trying to spot something on one of these boats that I could shoot and fill the frame with, but I can't get quite close enough. But maybe I could crop in, you know, like this set of lines. If I could get in really close to those, that might work. Or there's a kind of a grid up here. If I shoot that and crop in, that might work. Ah, now this, this is a pattern. Look at this baby. zoom in to really emphasize it. I 
Once again, we have stairs on the back of the convention center. The stairs always lend themselves to pattern. I suppose even something like a tree, if I really zoom in, becomes kind of an abstract pattern. Now this is kind of interesting because we got a foreground pattern made by the, this metal parking structure and then a background pattern made by the windows in this hotel. So I think I should be able to get a few shots out of this. Now this hotel is one of my favorite buildings in all of San Diego. This is the Marriott Marquis. And uh, this was designed by C.W. Kim, my favorite San Diego architect. He built all the great buildings downtown. Now maybe somehow just the mass of these boats, if I zoom way in on them, make some kind of interesting pattern. It's sort of a chaotic pattern. But a pattern nonetheless. All right, I think that's enough for this morning. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's do this again soon.